And what are all these coins we keep hearing about? Why are there different blockchains? Since the launch of Bitcoin, there have been thousands of cryptocurrencies that have entered the market. With all of the emerging use cases of blockchain technology, it's only natural that new projects will come onto the scene to solve a particular problem or innovate on ideas that have come before them. Different competing blockchains make different technical trade-offs as well with speed, security, and stability. With all of this competition and innovation, we're bound to see more technological improvements and more consumer benefits. So we actually think this is a great thing. Many cryptocurrencies are created for very specific purposes that fall into overarching categories. One example of this is stablecoins. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies that have their value pegged to a traditional asset class, most commonly a fiat currency such as the US dollar. You've probably heard of USDC and Tether. These are good examples of stablecoins. Stablecoins are useful in that they're designed to minimize price volatility while making them a more practical medium of exchange. So it's the best of both worlds. The value of the coin doesn't fluctuate a lot, but it's still, it has all of the digital benefits of uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. DeFi tokens are used on decentralized platforms powered by smart contracts that I talked about earlier. They provide users a suite of financial services such as lending and borrowing. So the DeFi tokens that are used on these platforms, they form the foundation of this ecosystem. They can be used for things like voting on the future of a decentralized protocol. Next, let's talk about privacy blockchains. Most of today's blockchains are pseudonymous. That means that all transaction activity is visible to everyone, even if not directly tied to anyone's personal identity. Privacy coins, however, are cryptocurrencies that are focused on preserving user anonymity by obscuring identities and other transaction data on these networks. Monero and Zcash are popular examples of privacy coins. There are many other categories of digital assets that focus on specific use cases, such as gaming, governance, payments, utility, security, and many more. Another big reason why there are so many different coins is that anyone with the know-how to create one can do so. Because of this, unfortunately, there are also some projects that are created as scams or rug pulls, and they may not be technically sound. For this reason, Coinbase has an extremely rigorous vetting process for a coin to be listed on its exchange. This process involves many experts doing their due diligence to make sure that an asset meets all standards and is compliant with local laws before it is listed.